Hello everybody, LEGO Police View here. Today I'm going to show you the Oka method on the Pyraminx. So today I'm going to show you the Oka method on the Pyraminx. So this is kind of a more advanced version of Keyhole. Uh, it's kind of one flip-ish, but it's not quite as complex as one flip, doesn't have as many algorithms, but it can be very fast. So what I'd recommend doing is checking out the keyhole method if you haven't already uh, done that. Check out my video on that, look at all the algorithms, and really only one step from that method is changing when you go to this method. And so I'm going to show you how to do this method, and I'm just going to show you the one step that changed. And so for all the algorithms and stuff that you do at the end of the cube, those are going to stay constant. And so go check out my tutorial for keyhole to check out how to do that. So now, assuming that you know keyhole, this method starts off very similar to keyhole, where you get two pieces into place, but there's actually a little bit of a change. And so what we'll do is we'll find one piece and put it into place. There's one right there. Uh, you're going to look for one that's already in place, of course. Uh, and then we're going to get another piece in place, but instead of actually putting it in its correct spot, like say, right here, uh, I got both those in, uh, right here, we're actually going to put it right here, the piece next to it. And we're not going to do it like this. If you have a matched color, that's wrong. You're going to do it more like this. And so you see here, the piece that should go here is going to be right here, but none of the colors will match. If it's like this, where one of the colors matches, then you're wrong. Fix yourself. It should be like this. So yeah, first step, get one piece in and the other piece next to where it needs to go. It has to be aligned correctly, so you would be able to just take this piece out, stick it right there, it would be correct, red to red, green to green, but in the wrong place. So there we go, we're done with the first step. Now what we do is, it's very similar to keyhole from this point, so we're going to protect these two pieces and use this as our keyhole, the other piece that we haven't uh, put in yet, and so we put yellow down, yellow down, and yellow down, because yellow is the color that's not on here, again that's just keyhole. And then from here, you see this is the layer that we were working on. This is a piece that is just a random piece. This is a piece that you set up earlier. And what you'll do is you'll find the piece that needs to go in this hole. So the in this case, the red and blue piece, which is down here. It's going to be on one of these uh, bottom places. It could be here. I'll tell you how to do that in a second. But for now, it's going to be in one of these places. And so if it is right here, you can move it over. And so what we want to be able to do is just bring it right up to its spot, so it'll be correct. If it's right here, it won't be correct, so it needs to be right here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring the piece up into its spot, moving out the piece that you earlier uh, put there, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna turn the top layer to line up with the empty slot, and then bring the side back down. So just kind of motion like that, R prime U R, bring the piece in, bring over to the empty slot, and bring that piece down. And you see, if you did it correctly, the piece that you earlier had right there will now be right here. And now you can just finish it off like you did in the keyhole method. And there we go, it's solved. And so now if you've come to this and you see this is a piece that we put in earlier, this is a keyhole, we're trying to find the red and green piece. We can't find it on the uh, bottom layer because it's not on the bottom layer. It's actually in the keyhole. And so we don't want it there. So what we can simply do is take it out like we learned how to do in the keyhole method, I believe, uh, and then find that piece and bring it up to the top. And there we go, put it in the normal Oko way and continue solving it, I did that wrong. But yeah, that's just about it. It's a pretty simple method once you already know the uh, keyhole method. And again, that's linked in the description if you don't know how to do that. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like down below to show me that you liked it. Uh, stay subscribed to be notified when another video like this comes out, and leave some suggestions for other tutorials like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!